really truly are a community of learners. We're constantly analyzing what we do. We're constantly looking at how children respond to our program. And it's very important to us that what we're doing with a child is effective and meaningful in helping children learn and grow as just good human beings. We want to help kids figure out for themselves who they are, what they're good at, what their challenges are, and to be able to advocate for themselves later so that they don't present themselves as, I'm a special needs kid. You may learn differently, but you still should be exposed to the same kind of things that are happening in other schools. Da, 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 da. At Gillen Brewer, we take kids starting at 2.8 years old, and they can be here until they're 10, and then they age out of our program. We serve a wide range of children who have language-based and nonverbal learning disabilities. We also serve children who have issues relating to sensory integration or some minor health-related issues, as well as kids who are emotionally fragile. We balance our classrooms so that children really complement one another and that the way in which we're teaching them is really the way in which they learn best. We can really help them develop strategies that will enable them to function in less restrictive environments. The student who does well here um, is a student who really is actively engaged in their learning environment, who is related to people, and you know has the ability to learn from the people in their environment. What we try to stay focused on is in how the child is responding to the program today, and the program adjusts based on what the child needs. Where is the rainforest that we're learning about? In Africa. Mm -hmm. Jonathan was in a very good New York City public school program. He had a lot of difficulty there, both academically and emotionally. Well, I think he's a lot happier here. He is a lot more expressive. He's able to communicate more. He used to be very stoic. And now that he's been here for a few months, I feel like his personality came out. The parents who really find a home here and whose children do really well here are parents that really are committed to their child's educational process and being in a partnership with us where we can really talk openly and honestly about their child and really talk about the hard stuff. Okay, maybe the king can move to E7. I was worried. Uh, you know, I knew what was going on with our daughter. I knew that Taina needed a lot of help. Not only Taina, but us, because we didn't know how to deal with these situations. And here she learned to accept herself. And the Gillen Brewer School, she learned, they taught her some self-esteem. I mean, it's amazing to see the changes in her. From the beginning, you know, we saw great changes. She loves her friends here, and um, she loves coming to school. It's a very diverse community here, which is really nice. It's nice for the parents, it's nice for the kids. Support-wise, they offer great workshops. The school provides so much. In 2005, we moved into this state-of-the-art facility. Uh, we were able to design it for children who have sensitivities to light and sound. We have double sheetrocked walls. We have uplighting. We have spacious classrooms, earth colors that we've chosen. So we've put a lot of thought into our space. The classroom environment is really critical to our kids' learning. Donna just has amassed a really terrific group of dedicated teachers and therapists. They just have such a passion and patience, which is critical. And uh, I just was constantly amazed by the quality of the staff and the dedication of the staff, too. What's wonderful about Gill and Brewer is that we are an interdisciplinary team. So each classroom has its classroom teachers, and then it has at least one or two psychologists assigned to the room, and a speech and language therapist, and an occupational therapist. And together, we all bring our different lenses to help these children develop to the best of their potential. Oh, how do you think they're feeling right now? Happy. Yeah. Our classrooms are put together based on developmental abilities. I modify the lessons so each child is learning at their own pace. We have the privilege of having two assistant teachers with us in the classroom, so you have more than enough people to help you teach the children academics on their level. Ah, we got it, hold on. No! We meet the students at their level. I do think that there are some really deep personal connections friendships, that the students appreciate who we are, we appreciate who they are, that there's that integrated experience. It's a really special community in that way. Beyond the academics 
and beyond the therapeutic part of our program, we also have a lot of other programs that are really integrated into our day, which include the sports program, our arts program, which includes fine arts uh, and music. We have a full-time science teacher. We have pet partner project, um, which is very exciting. We have live animals to supplement our program. Whiskers, take a look at his whiskers. He's wiggling his whiskers, yeah. You know, we call it a family and it's, everybody says that it's sort of cliche, but it really is a family. When you think of Gillen Brewer, you always think of Donna. Every time I see her, she always has this big smile and a big warm hug, and she just makes Gill and Brewer what it is. We want kids to leave us feeling really confident um, about their strengths and really understanding where their challenges are. We want them to be independent. We want them to know how to ask for help. Um, and we want them to know how to get involved in their own education, um, to take some ownership over their learning and direct adults as to where they need support. That to us is success for our kids leaving us. And of course, we want them to be happy and to love school.